Hello, this is Gavin Gear here, and I'm just going to uh, give you a quick tour of my latest uh, sewing machine acquisition. So this is the sewing machine here. It's a, a typical industrial sewing machine setup where we've got a 48-inch wide table uh, top surface, and then we've got the, uh, the sewing machine head, which you can actually uh, rock backwards to, to access the, the components for. Um, it's got a, a V-belt drive system, a bobbin winder, uh, a triple thread tree on this particular one, and we've also got a light here. Being a walking foot machine, it actually uh, has multiple presser feet. So we can see here that we can we can lift the presser feet. This one has about a 9 16 of an inch lift, so it's a high lift uh, system. And if we if we go ahead and start sewing, you'll see that the two feet actually alternate, and this means that there's always a presser foot in contact with the material, clamping it, um, even while it's being fed. And while it's being fed, it's also got a needle feed action, which means the needle is pierced down through the material. Like Now we can go through many, many layers of material here and still be able to, to feed because of this needle feed and, and walking foot action. So definitely very good for things like leather and canvas, that kind of thing. In order to control the, the stitch uh, length and the forward reverse action of the machine, we have this uh, stitch length lever here. So if I pull this all the way up, the machine will stitch in reverse. Let's see that for a second here. See, it's going backwards there. If I uh, I can adjust this lever up and down by, by cranking the knob here to adjust the, uh, the overall stitch line. We've also got a knee lift here. So as I'm sewing, I can, I can rock this uh, lever here with my knee, and that causes the presser feet to go up and down. So if I want to raise the feet and then pivot, I can do that while the, while the needle is down in the material. This particular machine features a, a reduction drive unit as well as a, a servo motor drive, which is a DC motor with a speed control. So with this particular arrangement, the, the, the motor actually drives this large pulley here. And then a smaller pulley actually drives the sewing machine head. So here we've got, um, judging the, by the, uh, the ratio of the diameters of the pulleys here, about a 3 to 1 reduction. So that effectively triples the torque of the motor and, and cuts the top speed uh, down by uh, to a third of its normal speed. So if I step on the pedal, you'll see these guys rotate there. Uh, in addition to the uh, production drive, this particular servo motor also has a uh, speed switch where I can uh, adjust the, uh, the, the top speed of the machine, the, the speed at which it will go if you press the pedal all the way down. We can also reverse the rotation of the motor here. We've also got a, a 110 volt outlet for our lamp. So if we turn the, uh, the machine off, you'll see that it also turns off and on our, our light here. So this FAF 545 uh, is a, a very nice large bobbin high lift uh, machine for industrial sewing applications. The addition of the servo motor and the reduction drive makes this machine very easy uh, to sew with. So when we go to uh, to do precision stitching, we can we can very precisely control the speed of the motor, even as slow as this. So, if we floor it, we'll go up to a certain speed. This is the particular speed that we've selected. But again, we can we can go very slowly and deliberately. So that that helps when you need to uh, complete the very last stitch, or when you're um, precisely maneuvering uh, the needle uh, for sewing applications such as holsters which require a high degree of precision. That's it.